Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to use Windows 7 Backup and Restore Utility. Now if you have a computer and it is loaded with your documents, your pictures and your videos, as well as your installed programs, you do not want to lose any of those things. Now if your hard drive fails out of nowhere or your computer just decides to blow up, then you will lose everything. So to prevent this from happening, to, to prevent this loss, you must back up your data. Windows 7 Backup and Restore lets you back up your data in two ways. They are very, very different two ways. Number one, you can back up an entire system image which includes your operating system, everything in it including the programs you installed and all your files and folders. It is pretty much a complete copy of your Windows 7 hard disk. The second way of backing up and restoring is where you can back up specific files and folders and selectively recover them later. So if you want to back up your pictures folder only or your videos folder only or both, you can do that as well, but you won't be able to restore your operating system. In this video today, I'm going to show you both ways. So let's uh, launch our system utility and start this process. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to show you guys how to back up both the system image and the selective backup in one go. So the first thing you want to do is you want to launch the utility. So click start and type in backup and restore. Press the program that pops up. And then if you have never done this before, this is not the screen you will see. You will see a screen and the top here, it's going to say set up backup now. And once you click that button, you're going to get the same screen that I am about to get by clicking the change settings button right here. So let me click this. And this is exactly what you will see even if you're doing this for the first time. Now once this launches, uh, you will see the list of all the hard drives that are connected to your computer, excluding the hard drive that your operating system is installed on, because you cannot back up to the same volume that you're trying to back up. Okay, so I have a flash drive, a backup drive. This is just a one terabytes external hard drive that I purchased. And uh, I have another one. This one just has my videos, pictures, and stuff like that on it. So obviously the backup drive is the one that I'm going to use. Now if you have Windows 7 Professional or above, you do have the option to save on a network. I'm not going to go into any details regarding that because we just want to do a backup on an external hard drive, which is the best way to do it for the end user or for the average user. So let's click the backup and um, click next. Okay, so here you get the option to let the windows choose what to backup or you can choose it yourself. If you do it windows, you can just click this link here and it will tell you exactly what it is backing up. If you go to let me choose, you can pick and select that is always a better option. So let's do that for now and click next. Okay, so here is the list of the things that I could back up. Now Zeus is my main user on this computer. So all this is my pictures, my videos and my music. So I can select all these to be backed up. And if I am, if I'm going to create any users in the future, I can have them backed up as well. Their user profiles, uh, their documents and their settings and all that stuff. I can additionally choose to back up things on my C drive, which contains 
um, the program files and such so I'm just gonna leave that alone for now and go down here look at this it says include a system image of drives system C so if I wanted to create a system image that would back up the entire computer I could do it by clicking this button right here in my case I cannot click it because the hard drive that I'm trying to back it up to is formatted in the FAT32 file system not NTFS I would have to go to my computer uh, choose my hard drive my external hard drive in fact let me show it to you start my computer and here's the backup drive right click properties and it's a FAT32 I can convert this to an NTFS system and then I can actually back up system images so if you ever cannot click this you know why just convert your hard drive your external backup hard drive from a FAT32 to an NTFS file system and you would be able to back up an entire system image that is like copying your whole computer so if your computer blows up you still have that external hard drive that you can connect to another computer and just recover everything that you had including the operating system including all the program files including all the videos pictures music everything but in this case we're just doing a selective backup where I am picking up what I want to back up in fact I don't want to back up the documents or the music or the pictures or these I'm just gonna do videos and I'm not gonna do the C and then I'm gonna click next and here you get a summary of what is happening today so the backup location is the backup image I mean the backup uh, hard drive uh, the backup summary is that I'm only doing the videos and uh, you can also pick up a schedule so it says here on demand if you click change schedule you can actually choose to do the backup daily weekly monthly so let's pick monthly on the 20th at 11 p.m. so every month on the 20th at 11 p.m. the backup will run automatically and a lot of people do this when they're asleep so if you go to sleep at at midnight uh, you can set it up to run at midnight so you don't have to uh, worry about it while it's it's happening so click OK save settings and exit and then if you did this for the first time the backup would have started by now in my case I would have to click the backup now button and it will start that way so let's click backup now and as you can see the backup is now in progress the files are being saved to my external hard drive called backup which is right here start my computer the backup drive if I go in it right now you'll see the Zeus PC and a couple other files all these files are being created by the backup uh, utility okay so I'll be back when the, this backup is close to completion to show you how to restore files okay so the backup is now complete now I'm going to show you how to restore files so let's just go to the folder that I had backed up and you remember it was my videos library right here um, I'm gonna go into Camtasia projects and let's assume that I accidentally deleted this important file so delete this file close the folder and remove it from the recycle bin so oops now that file is gone but since I know that I have a backup I can go and restore that file individually so all you do is launch your backup and restore utility click restore my files and browse for files when you click browse for files your backup will show up here automatically and I knew that my video that I deleted by accident was in the Zeus's backup folder so go there 
and here's my videos library go in there and here's my Camtasia projects folder in which the file was which got deleted so go in there and there is the file all I have to do is choose the file click add files and click next at the bottom and I'll pick in the original location the question is where do you want to restore your file you can restore it anywhere on your desktop in your documents folder but I want to put it back in the original location so click restore and your files have been restored you're done now if you had a thousand files here it's gonna take a while but I only have one video file so I'm fine it took a second and I'm done so click finish and let's go back to that videos folder start Zeus uh, videos library Camtasia projects and here's the file the file that we had deleted by accident is back so that is the beauty of backing up your uh, files because you can restore them if you delete them by accident so this brings us to the end of this video if you guys have any questions or concerns post them at the comment section below uh, subscribe to the channel if you liked this video and also click the like button if you like this video and uh, thank you very much for watching have a good day guys